and welcome to Reasoning the U.S. Today we're going to be talking about government and why we need a government. You might think we don't need a government, but let me tell you, that's not the best way to go. It's not such a good idea to not have a government that works. So you might have an anarchist say, we don't need an organized government. Now, anarchy is not chaos. Let's get that straight, okay? We're just talking about what if we didn't have our type of organized government. Well, the problem with that would be is something that happens in kind of human evolution. In human evolution, there is a situation when out of a group, you will always have someone come up being the dominant. They'll be stronger, smarter, more intelligent, maybe more money. And that person's called the strong man. So if you're from a country that doesn't have a stable government and you have a strong man from another country or group come in, how are you going to organize self-defense against the strong man who comes in? So it doesn't really work if we don't have an organized government. Now that's a simple, easy explanation of that. And there's much more that we'll be talking about when you look at our blog. Let me go into why we actually need a government and what our government does for us. Thomas Hobbes, who lived from 1588 to 1679, said that we need to exist in a state of government. If we existed in a state of pure nature, we would eventually become solitary, nasty, brutish, and short. That's not really how you want to be if you're functioning with a lot of other countries. What does government give us? Why do we need it? Well. First of all, let me describe what our government is. We have a representative democratic government. That means we elect officials to go represent us in our centralized government area, which is Washington, D.C. Their job is to focus on our needs, what we desire them to serve us for in our country. And if they don't do that, well, we just vote them out in the next election. Now. With these representatives and what they're going to do, their job is to look out for our best interest. As I just said, best interest. What is our best interest? Well, having a government that takes care of people, protects people, allows us to have justice, allows us uh, civil defense, those are important things that we really couldn't do if we didn't have a government. This concerted effort that the government can pull together tons and tons of resources at any given time and produce a functioning, cohesive structure that will give us defense, that will give us health care, that will give us those elements that we need. Now, give me another example. Okay, another example of concerted effort would be NASA. Okay, NASA requires an enormous amount of support from a lot of different areas. You gotta have top research scientists, might come from universities or the government themselves. You're gonna need funding to support the satellites that help our cell phones. Uh, internet service is a government issue. They're the ones who do help develop the internet. All these things are concerted efforts put together to allow us to function. So that's another really big important thing that the government does. It allows us to function. These are things we can all relate to and understand that if they were done on their own, it would be really complicated and really confusing. You'd have a lot of different people doing a lot of different things and no real effort to help population in mass, to help culture in mass. So it's always good to have these, these collective efforts, these coordinated efforts to really pull things together. And that's what the federal government does for us. Now that's the end of what I wanted to talk about today in government. We're keeping it really simple. We're laying a foundation for the things that you need to know. Remember to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Tumblr, and make sure that you check out our blog. Have a great evening.